Hello everyone, I'm Ara Boba, and I would like to sh- announce something that's insane with you all. So like, listen up, okay? So I'm going to be a part of this social media contest with an app called Orbit App. It's going to be called Influence Me TV. It's going to be an influencer competition. Right now, there are several groups of us all trying to make it to be on the show. Right now, in my group, I am in ninth place. So, it would just really mean a lot to me if you guys took the time out of your day to just vote for me so I can be number one and make it to the actual show. There will be a hundred thousand dollar cash reward and i can really use that money so with you guys this help you guys can help me get that money once i get it and the exposure i'm taking everyone who voted for me with me like literally when i get famous y'all are gonna get famous like it's not if i get famous it's when because i know it's gonna happen with you guys' help it can happen very soon so just click the link in the the description box to vote for me you can do one free vote the other votes you have to pay for but don't worry about that if you haven't voted for me already make sure you give me a free vote so i can be number one if you guys don't want to give me money that's cool i'm just i'm gonna buy the votes myself but if you still want to buy the votes you totally can i will really appreciate it it would mean the world to me so yeah thank you guys for listening now on to video Erica talking about wherever the heck she's going to be talking about this week. Love you guys. Hi YouTube, it's me Erica Boba. Um, I know the setup is different. That's because I was kidnapped. Yep. I have no idea where I am right now. So if you want to help me out, can you please call the police? That'd be like amazing. Just kidding, I was not kidnapped, I actually moved, so, yeah, um, my room is, she's under construction right now, but once I'm officially done and she's clean, of course I'll give you guys, like, a room tour if you really want to, Harry really wants me to, right there, right, Harry? Yeah, I have to, um, put that pin down, but I'm so excited to be back, um, I know that, um, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I had a set schedule to post on YouTube and I would I post every Sunday night slash Monday morning, one of those days, but I missed Sunday night and Monday morning because, um, I was, I didn't have time to film, you know, I was literally in the midst of packing everything and my makeup, <laughs> I didn't have a bed, so I literally could not build my bed, so I was just like, priorities are bed first everything else last so I finally got my bed like a couple of days ago it was I got my bed before Sunday and I was just like well now that I have my bed I can focus on YouTube but then I wasn't feeling good I got sick y'all remember how I just had like COVID well I'm sick again right now I cannot smell or taste anything and my nose is running and I have this stupid, <coughs> stupid cough so I'm gonna get tested to see if it's COVID once again, which would not make any sense. It's probably just an upper respiratory infection. I've had one before and it kind of felt like this, but I've been talking for two minutes. Enough of me talking. For today's video, I'm gonna do an in-depth makeup tutorial for you guys because I haven't done one in the past two videos have not been in-depth. Um, so yeah, this one's gonna be. My sister, she wanted me to do a bougie auntie makeup tutorial. And since I am an aunt, you know, I'm an aunt of so many kiddies. I was just like, you know what? I could be bougie when I want to, so I'm gonna do it. So let us um, get started with the makeup, okay? Um, I should have unpacked my makeup before. Oh God. Hold on one second, guys. All my brushes is just out, and I need my brushes, so hold on. I have all my brushes and all of my lip products, so first things first, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Do primer. The Jelly Pop one, and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I hope everyone's been well. Um, I've been well. You know that competition that I'm in? 
I made it to round three, but I'm a little nervous because um, it's the, in order to make it to like the next round after round three, it's gonna be the top five contestants. And um, I've been having literally everyone that I know vote for me and it's still not enough. I'm still not, right now, I'm in like top 10, top nine in my group. I'm literally in ninth place in my group. And I have just been trying my hardest to get everyone to vote for me. And no one's like really doing it. Like, um, I can see how many people voted for me and not a lot of people have been voting for me. Which is, it's like, how do I make it that far if no one's voting for me? But then again, I don't know. I just, I really want to make it onto the show just to prove that, like, I'm worth something. Not that I'm not worth anything. It's just, like, I have a lot to prove, you know? Like, I do have talent. And one of my talents is doing makeup. And a newfound talent that I have doing nails. I literally did this set all by myself. Smiley faces. I'm out of breath. I can't breathe. After primer, I'm going to go in with my brows. Um, I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil once. And I've been obsessed with it ever since. So, yeah, we're going to use that. My nose is running. If you guys can see, like, the mucus in my nose, just ignore it. Brows are done. But we're not done. My next YouTube video is going to be a dedicated playlist video, but for now I just want to show you guys some of my current favorites that I will not show in the playlist video because I'm showing you guys now. This is one of those songs I'm vibing with at the moment. So after um, I fill in the brows, I'm just going to carve them with foundation and concealer. So for concealer, I go in with the e.l.f. Hydro... Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm almost out. Oh my god. I wish I can like show you guys my actual makeup, but this angle ain't it, so. I have to go to SoundCloud to show you guys like all the under this. Oh. I know what your boy like. Skinny tie, the cup tie. He gonna make breakfast. You walk around naked. Does anybody else like remember this music video? I vividly remember watching it and um sometime in high school and I was just like I'm pretty sure it was either him or the girl one of them were eating hot Cheetos and I was just like dang now I kind of want some hot Cheetos okay so um I'm gonna conceal the rest of the top of my brow later I'm just gonna go straight in with the eyeshadow so the eyeshadow I'm just going to find I'm just gonna go in with this palette that I literally found in the dumpster and I'm gonna go in with my bronzer shade, which is this one is hitting pan because it's literally my bronzer shade. I used to shade to bronze, and I'm not proud of it. I'm not ashamed of it. Like, you know. And um, I'm just gonna pack this shade. I don't remember how like um, two videos ago, one of the videos that I had was the video of me dyeing my hair. I posted that, and my best friend, after he watched it, he called me out. And he was just telling me everything I did wrong. So you know what I did? I re-bleached my hair. And I went in with a different dye. And I fixed it. He like, he went home on me. But it was out of love though. Because like, you know. It's just like, girl. If you, if you were going to do that, why didn't you tell me? And to be fair, I could have. But when I do things like that, I just do it like that fast i don't have time to like think if it's a good idea or not it was not a good idea i mean it was a good idea but like i went back and i fixed it and this is how it's looking now um it's all one even color now you know yeah and i like it like this and my hair you guys is growing so much i kind of want to do like what a lot of people do they like don't cut their hair at all i'm i'm gonna do that but i also cannot like I literally cannot dye it anymore, so if this is going to be the last color you see in my hair, that's not my natural color. But, yep, this is my fixed hair. Okay, let's um get on with it. So, I'm going to fix the rest, do the rest of the eyes after I have on my foundation. Go in with my foundation, which is the Fenty Beauty, um, you know, the regular one. 
I had to buy a new shade because um, the shade that I had was like too dark. So I went in with, um, I bought a lighter shade and oops, with a lighter shade, I know it looks bad right now, but it oxidizes. Like, um, I like, I had the old foundation for so long because I was just like, it oxidizes, like I can fix it, I can fix it. And then like, I was just like, I'm so, because I have like a lot of foundations that like don't really fit me because they're either like, they're like too dark. I have foundations that are too dark. I don't have any that are too light, any foundations that I have that are like too light for me. I give to my sister because like she has a lighter complexion than me. But um, yeah, I have a lot of foundations that are too dark for me and I literally keep them and I just like, um, I fix them. I, um, I have a technique I use whenever I have a foundation that's too dark and um, I would love to do a YouTube video on it, you guys. Like, just let me know. If you want to see how I finesse the dark foundations. But I'm also going to finesse this foundation. Because I know it looks really bad right now. On camera it looks terrible. But in real life it does not. Crucial part. Carving. Getting this everywhere. Uh, yeah. I only um, use um, SoundCloud to listen to like old rap artists that I used to like. Like this one for example. XX Tentacion. Okay. Foundation face is complete. Not the whole face. But like. Most of the face. After face, I'm going to bronze. They go in with my bronzer shade. And I'm just bronze my nose. The bronzer, I'm taking it like right here. Because um the eyeshadow that I have on my lid is my bronzer shade. So since I just did that, I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow brush that I just had and just fix it up a little bit. It's okay if it looks a mess around the nose. We can literally fix it up. I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I'm not gonna use too much. Looks like there. Oh my god. The thing about SoundCloud, because I don't use it often, I don't have like the SoundCloud Premium, so I have ads. I use Apple Music. I'm an Apple Music girl. I feel as if like, you know, it's 2022. We all need to grow up and just start using Apple Music. If you have an iPhone and you don't use Apple Music, go get an Android then. Like, why you want to be Android so bad? Y'all are probably just like, but, but Spotify has the, 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 the weekly, the yearly playlist for you and just the, all the playlists for you. I don't care. Apple Music does the same thing. They, we just don't hype it up because we have more class and dignity than that. I don't understand like what the hype is. I do understand what the hype is. Before Apple Music, literally the highlight of my life was, um, December and hearing all the songs I listened to the whole entire year and just like reminiscing and I still do that sometimes I'll go like on my Spotify account and just look at like all the songs in the playlist that I had saved just be like oh I remember why I saved this and what I was doing what I was thinking and whatnot after concealer we have to bake for the setting powder I go in with the revolution banana deep baking about one thing about this um i saw that they had like a new version of this powder but with the version that i have it causes flashback so if you want to get this one don't because of that reason i'll just wait for like the new one to come out this song makes me emotional because i heard it from a Jenna Marbles YouTube video. And I was just at the phase in my life where like, I didn't know it was the good days. Like I'm looking back at it now and I literally did not know that those were the good days. It was like 2017, it was just summertime. I was binge watching Gossip Girl for the first time in a long time. It was the summertime. I had red hair. I had red hair y'all. Like, ugh. History really does repeat itself, and I'm so happy that it does, but also not really because, like, some things I don't want to repeat itself. So, as I said, setting, I'm gonna take like, contour brush and I'm gonna go in with a dark brown shade and a James blah 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 palette, and I'm just gonna contour like right here, yeah, and do the same thing on the other side. I always do rubbing alcohol on the carpet, it's okay. So, um, this has been baking long enough, so. Oh my god, I love MGMT. Okay, y'all, like, 
everyone should know who they are. I love them. This song in particular, this is a live of um, Electric Feel. I'm not sure where it's from, but this version, this live version of this song, it is so good. You guys really need to like listen to it. I'm going to try to find like the um, live performance of it. Until then, like y'all, this, it sounds so good. Wow, I've been doing the whole video at a slant when I didn't literally have to. Okay, after that, I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I set my whole entire face with um, the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm shade 360 because it's the shade that I am in the foundation, which I'm currently not using because um, I'm using the Fenty foundation. Also, um, I haven't shown anybody, but my vinyl collection is getting up there, you guys. So, if any of you guys want me to do a video on my vinyl collection, please let me know. I mean, I was going to do it anyways, but I don't want to be like, you know, out of nowhere. Right now, all the videos I'm doing is were requested, so... If you want to see that, let me know, and I will queue it up. Yeah, the video will be in the queue. Like, I'm going to do it. Just wait a second. Set my nose. I go in with the um, the same powder on the Anastasia brush. Guys, so many people that, like, I grew up with are having kids now. Fun fact. When I was listening to SoundCloud, I went through a pink guy phase, a filthy Frank phase, and this was one of my favorite songs. Hood Bridge with Getter and Nicoletti and Pink Guy. I love this song. Okay, I like this part, y'all. I used to know this part by heart because I had it. A... Let's see if I still know it. I still have it in me. Oh my god, y'all. I'm not. Ash I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed, but then I'm not ashamed of all the phases that I went through. Like, I'm glad that I went through my, my edgy phase. It's because, like, I don't know. I just can't explain it. But I'm going in with a dark shade. And I'm just going to darken the crease a little bit. Oh my god, what did you know? It's another pink eye song. I actually like this song. Um, I, um, I found out about it when this album first. I was a hardcore pink eye stan. Y'all, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I used to be obsessed with the art, the rapper Black Bear. Yeah, I used to be in love with this guy. Like, oh, it was so insane. But then, like, I grew up and I was just like, mm -hmm. he's corny now. When he did that collab with Charlie D'Amelio, I was like, time to find a new baby daddy. Who gonna be my new white boy? For this I like we're gonna do a subtle cut crease. So for a subtle cut crease, I'm gonna use excuse me powder to set it. I'm just go in with a flat brush and some powder and just like you would do with the concealer, just use the shadow, I mean the powder. Something like that. <clears throat> I was a huge crystal castles stan, but um I found out about them like a uh, a couple of years ago and then like I found out about what the guy did you know so I don't stand them I only stand the female I can't remember her name but screw him yeah screw him but they they really made some really good music I found out about this artist because of skins y'all remember the show skins um the character um Sid found out that his dad died not found out but like um he told his best friend that his dad died and they're just in the club and they were playing that's how I found out about them. I'm gonna go in with bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze my face with the same eyeshadow shade. I found out about this song on a t I was on TikTok <clears throat> and somebody edited a scene from um, Friday the 13th, one of the older films, to this song. And I was like, whoa, you never see that. Like, uh, artists, like, I edit like that. So I was just like, cool. I like this song too. So yeah, that was really cool. We're almost done, you guys. We're almost done. Unreleased Charlie XEX. I love Charlie. I did not listen to Crash yet because, you know, 
she tweeted something the other day ago. She was like, um, send me the link to um, XEX World. If you know, if you know, then you know. If you don't, XEX World was the album she was going to release, but she didn't release it due to um, the fans leaking it. This is, shh, don't tell her, this is one of the leaked songs, leaked songs from the album. The album would have been amazing. Um, Sophie produced this. I love Sophie. Just let me show you guys something. I love Sophie and Charlie FCS. Like, look. This is my baby. She's in paradise resting up, watching over us, and making sweet music that maybe one day we'll all be able to hear. But yeah, this song is so iconic, you guys. Like, stream stream taxi after the eyes i'm gonna go in with eyeliner oh for eyeliner i like um i have two eyeliners this is the elf one and um this is the wet and wow breakup proof one um i'm gonna fix it i have not done a wing in this big in so long you see how red this eye is y'all what's going on you guys you can see how lazy my eyes are girl stop that was so embarrassing, I'm sorry. So yeah, after that, we're gonna go in with the, do the lashes. For this look, I can't find my lash curler, no, what, what? It's why my face up. So whenever I do my eyeliner, I always curl my lashes with a lash curler, like this. For mascara, I go in with the Essence Last Princess one, and this mascara is so good. And this is another Joji Filthy Frank song. So. I used to love this song, y'all. It was this is such a bob. I'll explain it after I'm done with my mascara. Y'all. Mascara's on. Let me explain this song. This song is like extremely old. I don't know what year, but it's old. I found out about it from a show called Slide. If you know what Slide was, it was that show. It was that show that tried to be what Skins was, but wasn't. But I still love Slide. I love Slide and Skins, but Slide, it was just like, it was so good. I had no business watching it at the age that I was, but it was so good. They canceled it after the first season, and I'm so disappointed. But it was such a good show. Um, all of our baby daddies was on it. Not baby daddies, but baby daddy. Uh, I'm not sure what his name was, but I almost said a picture of him. He was on it. So great. It was such a good show. Um... I've been trying to find where I can like rewatch it. It was only like 10 episodes. I'm just trying to like find them. But I can't find them. So if you know where I can watch Slide, let you guys know. These be on YouTube, the episodes, but like they deleted them. So I'm disappointed. But another show that I used to be obsessed with, since we're on the topic, was the US version of Skins. I really wish they wouldn't have canceled it after the first season because. It's like the situation with Shameless. You got Shameless UK and Shameless US. Why can't we have a Skins US? I, I'm calling it right now. I'm going to remake Skins, but make it a US version and make it a little different. But anyways, back to the makeup. The eyes are complete. Um, we need highlighters. So for the bougie highlighter, not bougie highlighter, bougie makeup. Um, highlighter is key. I cannot find my other highlighter. So I'm going to go in with the Mario Makeup by Mario Master Crystal Reflector Highlight. And this isn't as, as intense as a regular highlighter would be. It's just like, you know, it's really cute and glistening. You know, it gives you like a little something, something, but not too much. I'm just going to go in with this Ulta Beauty Highlight and Blush Collection. Ooh. I applied too much highlight, but with bougie makeup, babes, don't be afraid to like go in with that highlight because bougie girls always have a highlight. It's giving me a white cast and I don't like it. But after that, we're gonna move on to the lips. Um, we have to overlie, you guys. We have to. It's just a part of the makeup. So I'm gonna go in with my. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my. Um, Ruby Kiss Auto Eyeliner in shade black brown, and I'm just gonna overline my lips. I overline my lips a little funny. Um, I have like I, you know, like you know how my natural lips look, 
but I don't like them. So what I do is, ready to keep it, oh, I am covered in highlight. Before I do the lips, I have to fix this. Give me one moment, you guys. I fixed it, I'm back. Um, this song, we all know this song. It was at the end credits of the iconic Spider-Man movie. That was the first Marvel movie that I've ever seen in movie theaters. And I'm so glad I saw it. It was so good. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it because you know how like Marvel scans are. Like, oh, no, 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 no. It's been out for like almost a year now. Shut up. Anyways, I'm going to overline my lips now. Key. You have to overline your lips. Like this. The way that the light is... <sighs> the light is like setting me up, you guys. I look, I look hot. Yeah, I finished overlining my lips. So next, um, you have to go in with like a nude, a pink nude. So I'm gonna go in with a cream blush that I have. This is not a cream blush, but it's. I don't have a cream blush. I like to myself. I don't have a cream blush. And I'll just make an ombre like. This is one of my favorite Suicide Boy songs. If you're ever wondering what my favorite Suicide Boy song is, it's this one. Key, uh, something helpful. Whenever you're doing your lips, you should moisturize them. I did not moisturize my lips. I haven't moisturized them in a while. I don't do it whenever I feel sick because, like, that's the least of my worries, but I know I should. Okay, so I see a lot of the bougie aunties, not bougie, but the bougie makeup, they finish it off with a glossy lip, so that's what we did. Makeup is complete, but I need to put on the outfit because, of course, after this, I will take pictures as a bougie auntie. Oh. Okay, I'll be back. And this is the finished look. So how am I robe because it's cold? I just put on this basic top from Forever 21, you know. I'm gonna cover it up because I'm not wearing a bra right now, and that's a little weird. But yeah, um, this video is gonna be a long one. I look so cute right now. Can I just say, like, I really like how I look. I look the same. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys go because I, I had you guys for a, a long time now. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day, okay? Love ya. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tune in next week to see me do something off the walls crazy but probably not because i never do anything off the walls crazy because i'm too scary okay bye bye